Hello and welcome to another video here on One Team Inertia. I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about our former manager Steve Clark and his amazing achievements in leading Scotland to their first major tournament in 22 years. There was a lot of scepticism from fans of other clubs when Steve Clark was appointed national team manager and he had to endure a lot of pressure in the first couple of months in the job. Results not perhaps going the way that he would have wanted to, um, but as Kilmarnock fans, we always knew how it was going to go. We knew that he could eventually make the side um, into a strong one and we knew that if anyone was going to lead Scotland to, to a major finals again, it would be Steve Clark. Um, but it took some convincing. It took, it took a lot to, to convince the fans. There was plenty of pressure on him early on. Calls for him to be sacked after a couple of games, which as Kilmarnock fans we knew was, was ludicrous because it takes time to, to change a squad and make it your own. Um, obviously, he wanted to set it up to be be hard to beat, which is which was the cornerstone of, of the success he had here at Kilmarnock. And, and he did that eventually. Um, got the formation that he wanted, got the players in that he wanted and um, you know, making us hard to beat. And then obviously you have to go up the other end and, and sort the sort of goal situation out. And although we're, we're still not scoring, you know, masses amounts of goals, it's working out. You know, the addition of London Dykes was, was huge for Scotland and, you know, it's ultimately led to success from, from the other night in Serbia, finally making it to our first, you know, major final since, since 1998. So um, I think everyone is, is fully behind Steve Clark now. It took a lot of convincing, especially for fans of, of some clubs, um, definitely. But um, he's made it there in the end and everyone can see what he was trying to do, the process that he had to go through. And from now, you know, the belief is back, the confidence is back in, in the squad and the fans and the nation as a whole in the manager. And from here, you know, who who knows where we can go. Obviously, we've got the Euros in the summer. Um, tough group, England, Croatia and Czech Republic, but certainly not not something where we're going to get um, heavily beaten in, in every game, two games at Hamden. So there's no reason why we couldn't get a couple of results in there. Um, and if we can get the squad to, to be hard to beat and and get the, nick the odd goal up the other end and there's no reason why why we couldn't go further in that tournament and then obviously we've got the, the World Cup coming up um, or the, the World Cup qualifiers that's a constant ongoing thing with the Nations League so you know once we make it to one tournament we, Steve Clark's not going to stop you know he obviously he's going to celebrate when he gets back to Scotland he's going to celebrate with his family and everyone that supported him and obviously as Kilmarnock fans we'll, we'll celebrate more than most Scotland fans as well but you know he's not going to rest he knows that he can have a real sort of dynasty here as Scotland manager and, and you know, why rest when you've made it to one major finals? Because you can just keep going and keep going and hopefully this can be the start of a, a big change in, in mentality in Scotland and we can start to believe that we can qualify for, for every tournament that comes along and win most of the games that come along and, you know, we just have to say thank you to, to Steve Clark for that because he's completely changed you know, the spirit of the nation and the national team, you know, everybody was losing faith and losing hope in in the, the squad. And there's, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because it, it was hard at times as Scotland fans to, to watch some of the stuff that was going on. Um, the 3-0 to, to Kazakhstan, especially, that was a real um, low point for for Scotland. And a lot of people were getting were getting turned off and a lot of people were getting disillusioned with the, with the national game and saying... You know, it's a waste of time. Be better focusing on on club football in Scotland and trying to improve that. But that's all completely gone, and, and that's just down to Steve Clark. So, obviously, you know, looking back on it, when he left Kilmarnock, we were devastated because we felt that we could have gone so much further um, in the Europa League and even maybe further challenging up in the league for for um, second spot or just sort of maintaining that that third position. But Looking back on it, you know, he, need, he needed that big chance to go on and prove himself on the national level and prove himself to, to all other fans in Scotland because although he did all that fantastic work at, at Rugby Park, you know, he still didn't have the sort of backing and, and the faith of, of all the fans in Scotland. So he's got that and hopefully it leads on to a big new dynasty for, for the Scottish national team. And um, as Kilmarnock fans, you know, 6,000 of us, 5,000 of us, you know, we we all loved Steve Clark and he was our, our footballing hero um off out with the pitch and I think it's fair to say that he's made a he's become a, a, a hero to a few more over the last week. So long may it continue and uh, once again congratulations to Steve Clark uh, and all of the players for the Scottish national team as well.